Good morning, friends. It is Monday, and we are about to start another awesome workout together, the start of a new week together. What is this? Five or six weeks now we've been doing this. I can't even keep track anymore. But Monday means that we start with a new warm up. So I'll introduce you to that today. And then today's workout is Tabata style rounds. So we are going 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, four exercises on the repeat, a total of eight of those 30 10 circuits that will make up our round. It's so good to have you joining us. Here's what you need today. You need your mat and you need a set of weights, possibly two set of weights. I've gone ahead and brought down my eights and my fives. I'm gonna go with the eights and then have those fives there for just in case. There's a couple of exercises where we may wanna come down just a tad um, and then we'll have those 10 second breaks between um, each exercise. Uh, to make that decision and do the weight swap if that's what we choose to do. So like I said, we have four rounds of work. They are four exercises each on a 30-10 timer timing circuit. Um, I downloaded a new timer onto my phone. So it's a Tabata timer app and it's gonna tell us um, when to get ready for that upcoming change. Now, I usually just use the regular timer on the iPad or iPhone, no big deal. But this gives you a little bit of a chime. You'll get a chime three seconds before the exercise starts. So listen for that today and then you know it's coming. Um, like I said, four rounds of work. In round one, you need both weights. In round two, you only need one weight. And in round three and four, no weights at all, except for in one exercise, I'm gonna have you grab just one dumbbell. All right, you guys, I got 9.30. Let's go ahead and step back and start that new warm up. In our warm up today, you're gonna step back here and you're gonna take it to that reach up tap back. Just alternating that step back, pushing from the ball of the foot to step together and switch. You got 10. From here, we're going into a side lunge reach over. You're gonna stay on the same side and reach it over in that lunge. In four, three, two, and one. Here we go, nice wide step. You're gonna take it over and across, reaching into that side body stretch, hinging down into that side lunge. Give me four more on this side. Three, two more on this side, and then we just take it over, other side, one more. Here we go, side lunge, other way and take it over. And in. Five more on this side. Three to go. Two. Last side lunge, reach over. Now bringing those feet in just a tad more narrow than they were, you've got a squat to heel kick. Lifting the chest, squeezing up and in and pulling that heel up to the booty. Give me eight. Six more. From here, get ready to come down to plank. You've got four more. Squat, heel kick. Two. And one. Here we go. Bring it down to that plank and hold for ten. Here's where we're going. You've got alternating shoulder taps in seven, six, and five. Alternating that shoulder tap in three, two, and one. Right here. Just lifting redistributing that weight, engaging the core, alternating those shoulder taps, give me six more. Five, four, hold that plank in three, two, and one. Now just hold plank. Now we alternate a step out. It goes out, in, out, in. Eight more. Six more. Four to go. Two, and one, plank hold, plank hold, here we go. Now we go tap, tap, step, step. Three, two, one. Tap the shoulder, tap the shoulder. Step out, in, out, in. Again, tap the shoulder, tap the shoulder. Step out, in, out, in. Two more sets of these, you guys, that's it. Step out, in, out, one more set. Tap, tap, step, and step. Good, straight from here. Take it to a down dog, lifting those hips. Woo. In your down dog, I want you to press one heel down. It's almost like we're gonna go into that walk the dog, but you're just holding one heel down into that stretch for seven, six, five, four. We switch it out in three, two, and one. Press that other heel down the opposite knee bends, holding that stretch for eight, seven, six, 
five, four, both heels down, three, two, and one. Both heels are down, and we walk it in. From here, rolling up one vertebra at a time. All right, you guys, are we ready to go? We've got four rounds of work today. Four exercises in, in each round and then the repeat. It's 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off using our Tabata timer. You have a minute between rounds, and in that minute, I'm gonna give you uh, the demos and everything you need for what's to come. So here's our first round, you need both weights. You can either hold those weights at the shoulders or let them hang. You got a set of body weight squats, sorry, not body weight squats, just squats down and up, either with those weights hanging or at the shoulders. From there, those weights will hang, we lift the chest, and we take it into alternating heel taps. From there, feet are underneath the hips. We turn those palms forward. You've got one forward deadlift hinge to one underhand row. Stand and squeeze between each row. Then from there, feet go a little wider than the hips. Sink down into that squat, and we have a set of squat square hops. That's round number one. Go ahead and grab those weights. All right, you guys, I'm starting our timer. It gives us seven seconds to get started. Here we go, those squats begin in three, two, one, here we go. Now I'm holding my weights just at the center. You can bring them up to those shoulders if that's what you prefer. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds between each move. Round one is a go right here. You have 15 seconds remaining. Coming up in 10, you've got that break, and we'll get ready for those heel taps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, here's your 10 second break. Weights hang at the thighs right here. We get ready for those heel taps. Here we go. Three, two, one, right here. Chest stays lifted, chin stays up, tapping those heels out front. Twenty seconds. Bouncing off those feet nice and light. Stay with me here. Ten to go. Three, two, and one. Good. That forward hinge with the underhand row. Palms are facing out. Feet under those hips. Three, two, one. Forward hinge. One row. Release the row. Stand and squeeze. A little bit more strength based here. That heart rate is elevated. Control your breathing through this. Happy Monday, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Way to get this in. Up for that row, squeeze. 10 seconds right here. Up. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Good, squat, square, hop. Weights are gonna hang. You're gonna hit each corner of your square in three, two, one. Here we go, feet stay wide. Now, you're just hopping from one corner of your square to the next. I'm going in a counterclockwise rotation. Girl, honestly, doesn't matter. Just hit those corners. Soft landing, toe ball heel, nice and light. Eight. In five, four, 10 second break, three, two, and one. We start from the top with those squats. In seven, one more time through that round. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, down. Those four exercises, one more time in these 30 second increments. We got this. Good, you guys hang in there. Down and up. 12 seconds remaining here. We go into those heel taps after our break. Eight. In five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, 10 second break. Weights hang at the thighs. Heel taps out front in six. Here we go. Two, and one. Heel taps, nice and light. Chest stays right over those hips. Core is tight. Just quick through those lower body. Tapping, tapping, tapping right here. 15. 10. You 
you had seven, six, five, four, here's three, two, and one. Forward hinge with that underhand row. In eight, we go in five, four, three, two, one. Hinge forward, one row. Stand and squeeze. From this move, we've got our break and our squat square hops to finish off round number one. Quarter of the way through, right here. Really squeeze those shoulder blades together and then on the stand, squeeze that booty. You got four, three, two, and one. Set up that nice wide stance. Now this time I'm just gonna reverse the direction. I'm gonna go clockwise motion on my corners in five, four, Nice bent knees, two and one. Soft bent knees, light on those feet, hopping from the corner of your square to the corner. 20 seconds. Push that booty back. 12. We got eight. Round one is done in six. Here we go, three, two, one. Yes, good. Whew. Drop those weights, grab your water. Round one complete. We go into round number two next. Let's see, this is our one minute break. Okay, I wanted to make sure my timer was working correctly. All right, we go into round two. In round two, you need just one dumbbell. We're gonna start with a round of press jacks right here. With that weight, you can modify by taking these to step out jacks. In move number two, with that one weight, you're gonna press out from the chest as you step back with the right and only the right. Press out, step back. After that 10 second break, our next 30 seconds is that press out from the chest with the weight and the left foot stepping back. Then in this one, we go into knee drivers. Round one, your knee drivers, is that right knee coming in. When we go second time through, it's that left knee coming in. Grab one weight. Press jacks begin in 10. Here we go, listen for that chime. Seven, press jacks begin in five, four, three, two, one. Right here, just 30 seconds. Up and in, down and together. Sorry, up and out, in and together. Strong in that press, but keep the shoulders down, no shrug. You got 12, eight, 10 second break. In five, here's three, two, and one. Bring it in, 10 seconds. Right toe stepping back in reverse lunge as we press that weight out from the chest. Reverse lunge press in three, two, one. Right toe back, press it out. Slow it down, just that right foot stepping back. Bring it in and together. 20 seconds. Whoo, you guys, stay with me here. We got 12, straight out from the chest and shoulders. In on that squeeze, elbows stay close. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, 10 seconds, all we do is switch. Left toes, the one stepping back. Weight still pressing out from the chest. You got five. Here we go, three, two, one. Left toe back, bend that knee, stepping into your lunge. That weight is out at your lowest point of the lunge. 20 seconds. We got 12. Seven, five, four, three, two, and one. Your knee drivers. It's gonna be that right knee coming in, okay? Lean into that left leg. Right knee comes in, weight up in three, two, one. Just the right for 30 seconds right here. When we go through this round again, we'll take it to that left knee coming in. Reach out, squeeze in. Reach out, squeeze in. Stay with it, stay with it. 12 seconds right here. Wait for that chime. Push until you hear that third chime. 
six, here it comes, here it comes, three, two, one, yes, get ready for press jacks, modify only if you have to by taking it to that step out, here we go, five, four, three, two, and one, step it if you need to, that is not cheating, it's doing what you have to, to continue going, 20 seconds,
from the toes or the knees, your choice. Push-ups next, five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go, come on down. Ready for push-ups, seven, whoo. We go in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, 30 seconds. <sighs> Woo! 20 seconds. Oh man, that was a slow 10 seconds. We got 12. Listen for it, listen for it, keep going. Three, two, one. Come on down and back, child's pose. We hit that plank. At a walking pace, knees pull across to the opposite elbow in five, four, hip plank in three, two, one, knee pull. Knee pull across the body toward that elbow, squeeze it in tight. Now you guys, here is gonna be the toughest transition of the day. From here, up to standing, and getting ready for that side lunge, middle jump. We got 15. Now, if you feel dizzy or lightheaded when you come up to standing, give yourself a second. If you're not quite ready to add in that jump, just make it a narrow squat. You got five. Here we go, three, two, and one. Come on up, breathe. Side lunge, jump in eight. One more time for this round. Five, four, three, two, one. Side lunge. Set together up. Side lunge. Like I said, if you're not ready for that jump, just take it to that narrow squat. 20 seconds from here. Up, over and down. 10, seven, here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Sumo squats. Toes and knees turn out, chest up. Five, four, breathe. Three, two, one, down and up. chance to breathe you guys down and up 15 seconds ten during our 10 second break coming down for those push-ups in five we got three two and one good come on down get ready push-ups try from the toes I know you're tired try from the toes four three Two, one, here we go. <sighs> <Woo. sighs> Twelve. <sighs> Listen for it. One, ah, back to that plank position for our cross knee pulls. In five, last one around three, in three, two, one, cross knee pulls. No rush to come up to standing after this one, just drop to those knees. Give me that push, give me that push. 15. Come on. Seven. Wait for it, wait for it. Here we go, three, two, and one. Bring it down, round three is done. Whew. You're gonna hear that chime, but it's just the start of our one minute active recovery. Sorry, not active recovery, full recovery. One minute right here. Now I'm gonna take my mat a long ways. Whew. You need one dumbbell in your first move. This is our last round. So our first move here is our sit up knee tuck. With that weight coming back behind the head, then as you lift up, you pull one knee in. I know I'm really out of frame here. Then from there, knees are gonna bend, heels are right behind that booty, and we sway side to side with the head, neck, and shoulders lifted. Move number three, you're gonna come back over to your plank position from your toes, you're gonna step out, out, 
in, in, and switch the lead. Out, out, in, in. Left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. We take that 10 second break, and then it's plank, down, down, up, up, switch the lead, down, down, up, up. Meet me on your mat, one dumbbell. Sit up, knee tuck in, two, and one. Here we go, 30 seconds. I know that was a super, super quick description and demo. We'll get through it. As you roll up, that's fine. Get ready to squeeze that knee, crunch it in, pull tight. We got 12. Those penguin sways come next. You got five, three, two, and one. Weight comes down, we need it for that first move, our second time through. Penguin sways, head, neck, and shoulders lift in three, two, one. Right here, swing side to side. It's like your fingertips are trying to reach for those baby toes. Stay lifted. Engage to that core. Chin and chest are up. Try to relax your neck. 15. 10. We got five. Four. Keep going. Three. Two. And one. Here we go. Up to plank. It's step out, out, in, in. The last toe to come in is the first one to step out to switch the lead. Three, two, one. Out, out, in. Tap it out, out, in. Tap it out, out, in. A switch each time. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in. 15. We got this. Coming off those shoulders next. Eight. <clears throat> 10 second break. In three, two, and one. Bring it down, 10 second break. Now from plank position, down, down, up, up. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand, switching the lead. Three, two, one. Here we go. Down, down, up, switch. Last hand to come up is the first elbow that goes down. That's how we switch the lead each time. Stay with me here. Back flat. Elbows coming down directly underneath the shoulder and lifting from there. 12. 10 second break comes up when we get ready to bring that weight with us for that knee tuck sit up. Five, three, two, one. Oh, sweat dripping everywhere. Good. Here we go. Six, three, two, one. Up and in. Down and back. Roll down that spine. You guys, this is our last two minutes of our work today. We finish up this round and we cool it down. That's it. Five. Penguin sways after a break. Two and one. Heels come in, knees go up, head, neck, and shoulders lift, fingertips reaching those baby toes. Two and one. Here we go. Side to side. Whew. 20 seconds. Keep the head, neck, and shoulders lifted. If your neck is tight, relax it down for just a second. Come right back up. 10. Reaching, reaching. We got six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ah, oh, come on up. Tapping out with those toes. Out, out, in, in. In four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Out, out, in, in. Switch. These are our last two exercises, our tap outs and our plank up and downs. Come on. We got this. Out, out, in, in. Even pick up that pace a little bit if you can. 17 seconds right here. Out, out, 10. Out, out, eight. Out, out, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down off those shoulders for 10. Here we go, setting up plank. Down, down, up, up from the toes or the knees, whatever you have to do. Three, two, 
One last 30 seconds of our workout right here. Down, down, up, up, switch the lead. Uh, whoo, I am sliding all over my mat on these elbows. Uh, stay in it, stay in it right here. If you have to come down to those knees, that's okay. Don't quit. Ten. Uh, uh, we got four, three, two, and one. Oh, oh no. Oh, yes, yes, I didn't hear the time. My bad. I saw the timer still going. I was like, oh, we're not done yet. No, we are definitely done. <laughs> Take it back to your child's pose, you guys. Ah, oh, forehead to your mat, fingertips reaching forward. Yes. Holding child's pose for another 10. Whew. From here, we're going to come up into your up dog. You're going to roll through from tabletop and allow those hips to come forward in three, two, one. So we go from tabletop position and then just let those hips fall down and forward. It's going to press your chest forward, lift your chin, hold that up dog. Whew. Now take your chin and look over your left shoulder. Roll that chin through center, looking over your right shoulder. Back to center. Take those toes, roll them under, lift those hips, straight legs. Holding your down dog stretch for another eight, seven, six, and five. Left knee, left foot is gonna step forward into lunge. Three, two, and one. Don't worry about that time anymore. The left knee is at that left shoulder. Then from here, you're gonna take that knee and turn it outward, away from that left shoulder. You might be on the very edge of that left foot, kind of lifting the inside of that foot up. Good, good. This is called that lizard lunge. You can keep that back leg lifted or come down, up to you. You got five, four. We step back to plank in three, two, and one. Back to plank, now the right foot steps up, knee right next to that shoulder, and then we turn it out into that lizard lunge. 10, whoo. How are y'all feeling today? That was a tough one. Way to get Monday kicked off right, huh? We got five, four, step it back to plank, three, two, and one. Step it back to that plank. Now from here, walk those hands into the toes. They stay at the toes and we pedal those knees and heels one in, one out, opening up those hips, stretching out those glutes and hamstrings. You got eight, seven, six, five, roll up in three, two, and one, roll it up one vertebra at a time. Oh, nice, you guys, so good. Oh, way to get it done, Monday. Nice work, you guys. Drenched in sweat over here, I hope you are too. I hope that felt great. I know those 10 seconds between moves, that was not a lot of time to kind of get set and rest and recover, but that's the exact purpose. For almost 30 straight minutes, we were just go, go, go. Second time through the round, it started to feel a little better, but then of course we were more tired, more winded, and more fatigued, so you've got to push a little bit more. I love that workout. I loved having you join me. Thanks for being here. Happy Monday, friends. Have a great day.